what's up y'all look who's back now I have been you know battling with my health you know this entire time trying to you know stay up on uh, stay up under a certain upload schedule and it's just not been possible now I'm not going to you know try to say if I'm getting any better or worse because I mean I I tried that in the past and that was I was completely off base so I'm just kinda winging it from here you know taking it day by day now um, I wanna thank you guys I mean for you know the, the, the support has been awesome the channel still steadily been growing even though I'm not putting out nearly as many videos and I thank y'all for that okay on to some breaking news that happened recently I believe it was about six hours ago Cox Media Saints Row's publisher has rebranded to play on I believe that's how they're pronouncing it play on um, I'm not entirely sure why they seem to be in love with this name. Uh, they see a lot of, uh, you know, road for improvement or whatever. I'm not entirely sure. I personally like Cox Media better. Just wanted to throw that in there. This is basically a list from IGN detailing what's inside each version. One of the main things that surprised me out of this list was all the standard versions for the PlayStation 5 and X series are $50. I'm sorry, $59.99. There's no $70 standard version. Now, there are more expensive versions, but they've kept them in line with the PS4 and the Xbox One, which I believe is very smart. Now, personally, I'm looking at this video purely from like the price standpoints and just the different versions. I'm not really looking at the content that's being offered with these versions. With that being said though, you can pause the video and I will link the article in the description so you can check it out for yourself. There is a ridiculous amount of options to choose from here. It's just from pre-orders to, you know, different types of editions you want. And it makes me think back to, you know, the old school days of gaming, the PlayStation 3, 360, when you know it was Walmart, Target, GameStop, Best Buy. Circuit City, you know, even to you know a lesser extent before they went out of business. It's nice to see this again, I guess. Um, I'm kind of 50/50 on this. While I like all the additions, I don't know, man. I feel like gaming just kind of went wrong somewhere. Like a lot of the content they have in these Ultimate Editions, they're just not that good to me. And I mean, it's like it's not always just being straight up bad. It's just it doesn't really match the quality. Like, all right, I paid $120 for this, and I got a skin. Or, like, I got a chance to unlock something a whole week earlier than someone else did, and they didn't pay anything. They just waited a week. I don't know. That's just me personally, though. I usually stick to the base games. That's how I usually, like, play my games. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Uh, Try to have another video out soon.